to the little blue vlog, it's Gem here, thank you for joining me, I hope you're well. I'm not doing so great, still, I'm getting so sick of this crap now. Um, reached breaking point a couple of days ago after thinking that things were getting better, and um, in the end went to my psychiatrist and said I'm really, really struggling, really not coping, and she said that she'd give me a referral to the crisis team, so I am back with the crisis team now, and been with them for a couple of days. Um, I had a funny moment where I rang them up and said I don't want to see them because I don't feel sick enough. Um, I'm not psychosis, psychotic or anything like that. And they said no, 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 you, you just, you deserve to see us just as much as anyone else. So, but yeah, my depression. So I'm going through a depression at the moment, which is what I kind of thought with the more anxiety and the depressive mood and low mood and guilt and all of that kind of stuff. So. Yeah? That was my mum. She's just going into the bathroom. Sorry about that. So yeah, I've been going through low mood. So when I when the psychiatrist said that it's definitely a depression, I was kind of like, yeah, kind of accepted that. So um, And because my suicidal thoughts were getting quite more intense and all of that kind of stuff, I um, she said, yeah, it'd be best to call the crisis team. So they've been over first day they came over they were really really great um i just let go let offloaded and everything there was two of them this time because sometimes when you have the crisis team there can be one two three people but they were great they came between they said they were coming between an hour and they were there on time and um, just sort of talked to me listened to me which was really really helpful and uh, just doing their best to keep me out of hospital so i'm now an outpatient at the local menstrual menstrual now an outpatient at the local mental health hospital and um, I'm being put forward to do some classes they've got a variety of classes I can't find the piece of paper which has really annoyed me that has the um, list of all the classes but there's ones about coping with anxiety the ones about managing a low mood there's even a yoga class which when I last was with them that didn't that didn't happen that didn't exist so I've got a few things I'm going to do, but they've been really, really great contacting me and making sure I'm okay, um, just someone to talk to over the phone. And uh, they said if my suicidal thoughts turn into plans, turn into, you know, kind of wanting to do anything, like actually do something about them, then they'd admit me. But because my suicidal thoughts are relatively under control, because I keep thinking about all the things that I would hurt, um, so it's really kind of, I keep having this very, very strong visualisation of this bridge near me and my legs are dangling, I'm sitting on the bridge overlooking the train tracks and um, I keep picturing me with my legs kind of like dangling like that and then sort of pushing myself off the side. But then when I think about that, I think about my family, I think about my friends, I think about you guys, I think about all the stuff that I need to live for and want to live for, so it puts me off. But um, because I've been so, so bad, it has felt like a viable option. And, um, yeah, so I'm back with the crisis team. And hopefully I'm going to get some good support and uh, get taken care of without having to go into hospital. Because I think sometimes going into hospital can make one feel a bit more poorly because there are very, very poorly people in hospital. Not that I'm not poorly, but I'm poorly in a different way. And um, for anyone that has been admitted to hospital will understand that um, as an inpatient, sorry. <clears throat> but yeah, so a very quick one today, but uh, just to let you know that I'm, I'm thinking about all of you um, and uh, the vlog's been a bit all over the place, but uh, it's the 31 days of BPD has, com has completely knocked me out. It's been a busy job, challenge every day just to get out of bed, let alone do recordings, so... At least I'm managing to, that's kept me going. It's kept me going in some ways, but also kind of made me pretty exhausted a lot of the time as well. But um, yeah, so I'm going to leave, love you and leave you now. But um, yeah, I'm safe. I'm okay. I'm back with the crisis team and hopefully they're going to come up with uh, some therapies for me that I can use, different classes that I can go to at the hospital to make me get, help me get through this difficult time. But thanks for all your love and support, thanks for all your kindness, thanks for just being with the channel and uh, I'm going to come in for a big cuddle. Take care.
lovely most, lovely most bits, lovely all the bits. Class of Bye.